Who is most likely to lock eyes with Medusa? On accident? Or it could be purposely. <laughs> on, on purpose? Dude, uh, Walker, I think. He, he's, I feel like he thinks he could look into Medusa's eyes and live. Walker and Orion. I just, I don't know how to, I just, I feel like they would. I just feel like out of nowhere, like, like definitely in the, oh, I don't want to spoil it, but like, girl, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I would say, I would say, you know what? I would say me. I would say me. Just because I like, like, personal connection. Like, I like looking in people's eyes when I speak to them. And I just be like, hey, how are you? And then die. Probably me, to be honest. I, I feel like I would, like, somehow mess it up. I would just be like, Oh, and then I'm dead, so I think me, I think I would do that. I'm sure she looks cool for like that that split second that you're like turning to stone, yeah. <gasps> Ooh, um, Leah, maybe Leah. She's like the most curious, wonderful human and I just feel like her curiosity would get the better of her. Who is most likely to defeat a Minotaur in combat? Walker. Uh, yeah, just Walker. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just, I feel like <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I was gonna say that. That's a tough one. I wanna say Leah, cause she just is that girl. But Walker's kind of crazy. Like, I feel like if we could put Rocker on a Red Bull, he could very easily kill a Minotaur with his pinky, so. Uh, Aryan, Aryan, because, you know, he is Minotaur-esque. He's not, uh, but he's, you know, adjacent. Um, so I feel like that's him. Even though he's not, you know, in real life, he doesn't have hoops, but you know, I still think that it, he's had enough practice now. I'm thinking Dior. I'm thinking Dior could uh, could easily defeat a Minotaur in real life. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would survive to be honest, but maybe, maybe, maybe if Dior helped me, maybe okay. if we're all working together, I think we could defeat it. Yeah. It's it's Walker because he he has so much energy. It's insane. I'm like, dude, just please. I'm tired. I've been working nine minutes, and he's like, well, I've been working 87 hours, and I'm gonna go do another fight sequence. Who is most likely to study Greek mythology and their free time for fun? Wow. I mean, I'm not going to say Walker, even though he's read the books the most times. I honestly think Leah. She does a lot of studying before press, which is very fitting for anime. Who would most likely be the first to eat a lotus flower? I would say me, just because I like to eat. I be eating left and right. You can't stop me. You put food in my face and it's, it's going in here. Definitely Walker. Definitely Walker, yeah. He would just like eat it without hesitation. Me, that sounds delicious. Don't they serve those in restaurants, like baked lotus flower? I'd eat that. Also Leah, I think. She's a, she's around crafty a lot. But um, <laughs> dude, honestly, I think all of us, I think we would all reach for it, yeah. I feel like Mr. Jason. <laughs> like, I know I just like met him, like I think for the first time actually, but like, I just feel like his character gives that off to it. <laughs> Who would be most likely to captain a team to victory and capture the flag? Me. I am a Leo with an Aries moon. I have a very leader personality, and when it's time to go and win something, girl, I'm gonna be there. I will be there and be square. <laughs> I think Leah or Aryan. Leah's definitely like pretty level-headed, and uh, would um, I think she, I think she's very much like Annabeth in that way. She's she's good at like, she has a lot of strategic, uh, yeah. She's she's great at like strategy and all that. So I think she would she would do great at. Uh, you know, leading a team to victory and capture the flag, yeah. Amazing, just like her character. Just like her character, yes.